Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. At this point, we want to inject the data we captured in the WAS pre-upgrade into our new target App Server 01 profile. Start the new deployment manager so that the WAS post upgrade can federate this node into the DMGR at the end of the migration process. The DMGR is now started and open for eBusiness. From the target spin directory, run the WAS post upgrade command with the parameters shown. The backup directory location and target install location are the first two parameters. Define the profile that is being targeted for migration. The parameter include apps is true by default, but can be set to false if you only want to move your configuration and not your applications. Since security is enabled, provide the credentials so that the process can connect to the DMGR when the federation process takes place. If cloning, when you migrate a federated node, you must specify the new deployment manager's host name and SOAP or RMI port. The migration has completed successfully. It is normal for the message to say with one or more warnings. These are just warnings and not errors reflecting a failure. Let's look in the admin console to verify that the node is shown. Selecting System Administration Nodes, it shows both the DMGR and Node 01 nodes. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.